A staple on Buffalo's waterfront for the last decade is shutting its doors. Customers of Doug's Dive came together for one last night of eating and drinking. Good evening. People from every corner of western New York have memories of dining at Doug's Dive. News 4's Ali Ingersoll is live outside the restaurant. Ali, why is the restaurant closing? Callan, the owners say the restaurant is closing because as new developments come in, they're bringing in new establishments. So tonight's the night that Doug's Dive's doors will close for good. It'll be sad, but uh, I look forward to uh, uh, it opens a bunch of other doors. So, you know, try to keep the, uh, the positive twist on it. Tucker Curtin opened these doors nine years ago. One of the big things that I was really into uh, over the years is how do I bring paradise back to Buffalo? His way of doing that, giving Western New Yorkers a casual dining experience right on the water. What made it special was that uh, we created uh, this accessibility to the waterfront, gave some people some subsidence on the waterfront, and uh, kind of set the standard for future development down the road. Regular customers agree. That's what Doug's Dive does for them. It gives you an opportunity to see the boats coming in and out and, and a beautiful sunset. There's been many times we've been out on the water and we come back. We don't want to cook. We come up here, get something to eat. The food is always great. Everyone inside gave us different favorite dishes, from sweet potato fries to crab cakes and burgers. While they'll miss coming in for a bite, patrons say they'll miss the experience and accessibility more. You don't have to dress up. You can come if you want to shoot down to the water and watch a sunset and have something nice to eat. It's a great place to be. We're going to miss the place. And making all those people full and happy is what owner Tucker says he will miss most, too, when he closes these doors one last time. Well, I've learned a lot more about uh, uh, what the people are all about here. And, you know, this is a blue collar marina. Uh, uh, nice, hard working people, salt of the earth. Uh, so it was great to be uh, uh, make friends with them and uh, <laughs> have them be my customers. Tucker says he's not entirely sure what time he will be closing up tonight. There's a pretty large party still going on inside of there right now. People saying their one last goodbye. Now, what's next for the Outer Harbor is still unknown. The new development group does say they will be bringing in new restaurants, but what they'll be and what they will be like and be serving is still unknown at this point. The patrons here do tell us, though, that whatever does come will have big shoes to fill as one of their favorites will no longer be around. Reporting live at the Outer Harbor, Allie Ingersoll, News 4 at 11.